is this going to be the best sunscreen for oily skin this summer let's find out hi guys tamno here in this video i'll be reviewing nivea sun uv face shine control spf 50 sunscreen this sunscreen is said to be lightweight non-greasy non-sticky and it instantly mattifies okay let's see how that goes it claims to absorb excess oils and has a long lasting mattifying effect i really can't wait to try it out here's what the packaging looks like let me tear this open this is what the packaging i have looks like so this sunscreen retails for 14 euros or 14 pounds for 50 ml so now i'm going to do a hand swatch for you guys okay blend in okay i like this so here's what the back of my palm looks like after it has been blended in nicely better modify me baby modify my face and i'll be super happy and i know everyone will also be happy <laughs> The spoon is full. My face is not shiny or greasy. This has a very nice consistency, I must say. I actually do like it. So it's it's thick yet light. It's not thick thick, it's thick creamy. I don't think this is giving me a matte finish. Hmm. I don't see anything matte about it. And it's already peeling. Hmm. I don't know if it's obvious. Let me try and sweep it up. Huh, what did I do in my routine? I just have two products on my face. Well, there are two new products. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to wash my face, then try using just a moisturizer on my face. I'll pick between the e.l.f. or the um, Innisfree. I'll just come and let you guys know which one I end up applying. Okay, so I'm back from washing my face. I went in with this moisturizer mainly because it's, you know, more on the matte side to me. It gives me that soft matte on the skin. Hopefully this time we experience something different, right? Time to blend in, rather time to spread. Before you guys come for me, I know I can clip my hair, okay? I know I can clip it, I just don't want to. I'm also applying this around my eyes a lot so I can tell if it does sting or burn. So now I'm going to let this chill. Time to blend this in. Okay. It is peeling again. <laughs> What's going on? See. I'm going to give this one more try, but this time it will just be on my bare skin. I will wash my face, then come on here to apply the sunscreen directly on my skin. If it peels, then I would say this is trash. Yeah. I'm here to apply this for the third time on my bare skin. I only just have lip gloss on my lips. If this peels again, then I know that I have a bad batch or maybe that's just the nature of the sunscreen. So time to spread. So it's time for me to blend this in. Guys, guess what? 
It's not peeling. It's more like the sunscreen prefers I applied on bare skin, not on skin that has other products. So this is not giving me matte vibes. It's giving me more of a skin-like finish. In terms of fragrance and alcohol, let me check that out. Um, straight up, this has a smell to it. It contains alcohol. You know how Nivea body stuff smells, right? That's the same smell I get with it. I feel like the previous Nivea um, sunscreen I reviewed gives me more of a matte finish as opposed to this one. That's weird, um, considering the name. Mattifying effect sunscreen. What type of sunscreen is this? It's a chemical sunscreen that is dark skin friendly and can be used by all skin tones. The sunscreen filters are Avobenzone, Tinosub S, Uvenol T150, Enzolizo, and Uvenol A+. Other ingredients include vitamin E, glycerin, ETC. The more I swipe my fingers on my face, it kind of like takes off the sheen slightly and it's eh, it's okay i want to say all skin types can wear it but however if you have dry skin here's what i found <laughs> but however if you have dry skin and you find this drying please use a moisturizer i don't know if it's going to like work on you in the sense that I have tried two different moisturizers and this peeled, but if it works for you, great. Um, do I recommend this? Yes, because this has not worked for me or this did not work for me in terms of using pairing it with other products doesn't mean that it's not still useful and it would not work for someone else. Yeah, so I definitely recommend it. Maybe I'll try this out with a different moisturizer entirely and um, if it works I'll surely let you guys know in the comment section so make sure you always check for my updates so far it hasn't um, stung my eyes but it has definitely peeled but on bare skin it hasn't peeled so I'll see you guys when it's complete two hours and um, maybe reapply on camera or not hey guys so i'm back i've had this on for good two hours 35 minutes and here's what my face looks like i'll come forward so we can both see that i have shine on my face it's not as bad as you're seeing it because i can see how glowy i am on camera i am definitely glowy but it's not as bad as how the lights are you know making it look um at the end of the day this is not a mattifying sunscreen i also noticed that i didn't show you guys what my face looks like in natural light but i'll show you what my face looks like currently with natural light so you can get like an idea so guys this is what my face looks like with or in natural light and um remember i was telling you guys that i don't think i look as shiny as the light in there was you know making me look so I'm going to come forward so you guys can get like a closer, closer view of my face. Yeah, so that's what my face looks like in or with natural light and um, you guys get the picture. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find it useful in any way, do let me know in the comment section. Like this video, share it, subscribe down below if you aren't subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching and do stay blessed.